The center of naval air power on the East Coast is Oceana, a sprawling naval air station in Virginia, home to the best aviators in the world. Since 2014, F-18 crews flying into the zone designated W-72 have reported encounters with a bizarre array of unknown, unidentified objects and aircraft positioned directly in their daily flight paths. Investigators with the Pentagon's UAP task force have requested that aviators try to document their encounters. On March 4, 2019, one crew did. An F-18 airman used his iPhone to capture images of three different objects he encountered in the same general airspace. At 3.02 p.m., he photographed this odd-shaped whatever it is. Another photo taken at almost the same time was first posted to Twitter on May 11, 2020, then again on social media six months later. Other photos, though, have never been made public until now. The first was photographed at 2.44 p.m. The Navy referred to this one as the sphere. The second one was given the name the acorn. Twelve minutes later, a third object was spotted, described as the metallic blimp. It appears to have various appendages. Mystery Wire first learned of the photos exactly two years ago during a private briefing in Las Vegas. It is Saturday, April 6th, uh, 1.45. I'm on my way to a meeting at the um, Park House, which is the offices of uh, Robert Bigelow. He is the host for this meeting. Speculation at the time was that the objects might be foreign spy drones, possibly Chinese, and we've learned the Navy wanted to, quote, snag one, meaning capture it for study. That never happened. Critics tried to explain away the object, saying the acorn looks a lot like a toy Batman balloon. But two years later, after careful study by the UAP task force, the objects remain unidentified. Although the three did not perform spectacular maneuvers like the famed Tic Tac or Gimbal UFOs recorded by the Navy elsewhere, they do not behave like any drones or balloons known to the U.S. military. We've learned of sensitive briefings prepared by the UAP task force and delivered to multiple military and intelligence audiences. The task force reports noted that the objects were able to remain stationary in high winds without moving at all for hours, beyond the capability of known balloons or drones. Earlier this week, the chief of naval operations was questioned by reporters about Navy encounters on the West Coast. Swarms of so-called drones buzzed Navy warships in July 2019, just a few months after the East Coast photographs were taken. The Admiral said information has been collected and analyzed, but the objects have defied explanation. In March, the former National Intelligence Director John Ratcliffe told Fox News he was one of many top officials to be briefed on the mystery craft. We're talking about objects that have been seen by Navy or Air Force pilots or have been picked up by satellite imagery that, um, uh, frankly, um, engage in actions that are difficult to explain, that um, movements that, uh, that are hard to replicate, that we don't have the technology for, or traveling at speeds that you know, exceed the sound barrier without a, a sonic boom. The so-called drone swarms that buzzed Navy destroyers in July 2019 have been further documented in articles by The Drive, which managed to obtain ship's logs describing the weird incursions. Those encounters appeared in the same general area as the 2004 Tic Tac UFO, which was pursued by former Navy Commander Dave Fravor. Fravor has reportedly briefed Congress about his encounter, one of several briefings arranged by by the UAP task force, even before it existed under that name. Unlike previous decades, when the UFO topic was ignored or hushed up by Pentagon leaders and Congress, Fravor thinks there are solid reasons for the Pentagon's now deadly serious interest. So just from a national security point, you would say, I'd probably pay a little attention. You know, are they hostile? I don't know. We, we haven't been attacked or anything like that. But I look at it for two reasons. One is it, it, there's a capability we can't explain, and number two is if you can't explain it, then you can literally change everything that we do. George Knapp reporting for Mystery Wire.